Five reasons to get a cockapoo. One, they are the best. Two, they don't malt. Three, they are basically furry humans who don't argue back. Four, they are the best. Five. What you doing? What you doing? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, you got plans. You got plans. Don't say that. Shut your trap. Put your dogs on down a bit unsure. I'm gonna block. See how your dog gets up and walks away? Like I said, a well-mannered submissive dog, like a well-mannered, well-behaved, will go down with their head low, non-threatening, they won't be posturing up like that. But a nervous dog will go down so low and even expose their belly. And if I didn't interrupt there, then the dog stands straight over them. And then quickly, if your dog panics or that dog steps on your dog and your dog squeals, comes a squeaky toy. What are you doing? What are you doing in mummy's bath? Been feeling quite sick. Yeah. I've been feeling quite sick. I've been in my bed sick. I've been feeling quite sick. Things to know about cockapoo puppies. They love tug of war. They love to chew on things they shouldn't. They can be super lazy. They try to eat plants. They love digging. They sit like meerkats. They get super muddy. Oh. 
Things to know about cockapoos. They love tug of war. They eat things they shouldn't. They drink your drinks. They are super lazy sometimes. They love to lick your face. They love cuddles. They love a tennis ball. They will sleep anywhere. This is Mabel and she's a 12 week old cockapoo. She came in today for her first ever wash and blow dry with her brother Rufus. She's got to be one of the smallest puppies I've ever groomed so keep watching to see how she got on. I started off by giving her a bath using a sensitive shampoo. Even though she is so tiny it's good to get your puppy booked in at the groomers as soon as they've had all of their vaccinations. Especially as Mabel is a breed that will need grooming regularly. It was then time to get her dry and I can't believe how well she did she didn't even cry once in the bath. I then gave her a brush while drying her off and I used my stand dryer on the lowest setting so it wasn't too powerful or loud. Mabel was so sleepy at this point and enjoyed lots of cuddles. I then gave her nails a trim and she had the smallest little paws. They only needed the tiniest bit trimming off. She did have super hairy paw pads though so I used my number 30 blade to get rid of all of that hair. She'll now have a much better grip and won't be slipping on the wooden floors at home. I then trimmed around her tiny little paws with my curved scissors. Then had to have a quick cuddle break because she's just absolutely adorable. She kept nice and still while I used my thinning scissors around her eyes. And then I finished off by trimming around her bottom. And this is Mabel, all done. I'm sure she'll grow into that bow on her next visit. This is Merlin and he's an 11 week old cockapoo. He's my best friend's new puppy and I was desperate to get him in straight away after his vaccinations for his first ever groom. Being a breed that's going to need grooming every six to eight weeks is great to get him used to it straight away. It must be so scary for an 11 week old puppy to go to the groomers for the first time, especially with all the different sounds and sensations. So it's really important that I make it as positive as possible with lots of treats and fuss. After his bath it was time to get him dry and I made sure the blaster wasn't too close and on its lowest setting. This is something you can also do at home to get your puppy used to the feel and the sound of the hairdryer. Trying to keep a puppy still to trim around their eyes can be challenging. This is also something that you can get your puppy used to at home. Using the end of a spoon you can rest it on the inner corners of their eye and give them a treat when they keep still. A spoon will feel very similar to scissors so it's a great way to start. I then trimmed Merlin's nails and I found it much easier holding him so that I could keep him still. Lots of cuddles and fuss and telling him how well he's doing. I then used the pet teaser puppy brush to give Merlin a brush all over. It's a really good starter brush for your puppy as the teeth are so soft and gentle. The link for these brushes are in my bio and if you use the code HENRY15 you'll get 15% off. I then started to get him used to the sound of the clippers and he wasn't one bit bothered and then I cleaned his ears and gave him a really good comb through. And Merlin's first ever groom is all complete. I can't even deal with the cuteness. This is Moose and he's a 16 week old cockapoo. Today was his first ever visit to a groomer's so keep watching to see how Moose got on. Cockapoos have got to be my favourite puppies because they're almost like real life teddy bears. I started off by giving him a bath and his owner said that she'd already given him a couple at home and he was really well behaved. After his bath it was time to get him dry. And then we had a quick play on the floor to make it as positive as possible so Moose's first experience at a groomer's isn't a scary one. Breeds like cockapoos that have curly coats will need grooming every six to eight weeks. That's why it's really important that their first couple of grooms as a puppy set them up for life. 
As you can see, he wasn't one bit bothered by the dryer or the brush. And that's because his owners have been getting him used to it at home since he was eight weeks old. I then used the knit comb to get rid of the gunk round his eyes and I gave his nails a clip. I then used the comb to make sure he had no knots and this is really important for curly coated breeds. I used a treat to distract him while I trimmed round his paws. I then used my thinning scissors to trim round his eyes so he could see again. And his ears didn't really need cleaning but it's good just to get them used to it. He had super hairy paw pads so I used my number 30 blade to get rid of all of the hair. And then I trimmed around his bottom with my number 10 blade. I then turned my clippers on but making sure there was no blade on the end just so he got used to the sound and the feel of them. This will prepare him for his next visit when he will finally need a trim. This is Moose all done, what a handsome and well behaved boy. <laughs>